Welcome guys to PTHD and today guys I just want to talk about YouTube's newest policy. So to get started right away, YouTube has implemented a brand new policy and I am not going to indicate if I am against YouTube's newest policy that was implemented. This policy was just put in place and effect as of last week. So before you continue to watch this video, this brand new policy is set to affect smaller channels or people who are just creating their brand new channels. So you might as well click away from this video if you have a well-growing channel accumulating thousands of views. So without further delay, I'm going to explain the new policy. So recently, YouTube has lost many advertisement partners. These advertisement partners included Walmart, Johnson & Johnson, and big telecommunication companies, all who have decided to pull their money making ads from the Google video sharing and streaming platform. Many have said and claimed this is because of YouTube playing ads on very disturbing content being shared up to the video sharing platform. Now, I fully understand that these companies wouldn't want their commercials or advertisements playing on disturbing videos or discriminatory videos. Now, the new policy is simple. You must hit 10,000 views before having the working option to monetize your videos. Now, if you're lost in the whole monetizing concept, YouTube was allowing creators who had less than 10,000 lifetime views to embed advertisements on their videos. Now, these ads allow YouTube content creators to make money after reaching the threshold of revenue required. So now that you understand the whole monetizing concept, hopefully you can understand what I mean. YouTube, although, is hoping that this will decrease the amount of scam artists quoted from The Verge from YouTube. Essentially, with the new policy, it allows YouTube to reassure small channels that have finally reached the 10,000 required mark to find the quote unquote scam channels. So really, YouTube is taking the required steps to ensure the sharing and streaming platform is where it's supposed to be. So yes, it is a loss for smaller channels, though it will keep some of those spam channels from making any money, hopefully. So I hope you understand the new policy. So before complaining and throwing shade over Google, understand the situation first.